Hello, it's Sizarka again, and I wanted to cover quickly how to make a simple hammered loop instead of a wrapped loop um, for, for jewelry. Okay. So, we're going to take the wire, and you're going to make a loop. Uh, being sure that the first this was flush cut, and yeah, it was. So we now have a loop that we made with the pliers. Um, I like to stick my pliers right there and straighten it out. So then we have it going straight up and down with the loop on the edge. Now, whether this will hold or not is determined by how thick the wire is and how hard the wire is. Um, and how big of a circumference or diameter the loop is. If you don't think it's going to hold your jewelry, um, then you can harden it. And of course, one of the ways to harden it is to um, hammer it or hammer it with a nylon hammer. Like, uh, this is a rawhide hammer or a nylon hammer. These two won't change the shape, whereas the metal hammer did. It made it um, flatter and it gave it some texture. So at this point, you can slip your bead on. Um, I'm going to cut this off. And I wonder if I have any beads big enough to put on here. Oh, I do. And so we slip the bead on, and there you have your link with a bead on it. Now to make the be the the link the same size on the other side, um, sometimes this takes trial and error for the first few times, and then you'll know exactly how far down to cut your wire, so that you get the same size of loop on the other side. Now I like to bend it at this point at a 90 degree angle on the bead, so that then when I make the curl, it'll be on top of the hole, and we. Whoops, hang on there, reviewers. Make a loop, and we can hammer that side. Now, you see, I didn't make it long enough. It's close, it's not bad, but it's not exactly the same. Be very careful hammering this other side um, because you don't want to hit the glass bead or the gemstone bead. And there we have a link with two loops hammered. And then you can make more. Um, the other, th I can snip this off and pull it in a bit so it's the same size. But what I'll probably do is take this one apart, make another one, and cut this link longer. And once I know how long to cut it, I'll use a little measuring tape and I'll make sure that they're all cut at the same length. And there you have it. That's how you make a loop for jewelry. Thanks.